Hello, lab assistant. Today, we'll view the gram-stained yogurt sample with a microscope to get an idea of the kind of bacteria contaminating it. To learn more about the purpose and techniques of gram staining, please take a look at the gram staining virtual lab. We will use a light microscope with 10 times, 40 times, and 100 times lenses. The 100 times lens is an oil immersion lens. Basic Lab Safety Procedures Before you start, there are basic safety procedures that need to be followed in all labs. Wash your hands before and after handling the materials. Wear gloves and safety glasses. Don't eat or drink in the lab. Be aware of dangling jewelry, loose clothing, or long hair that might get caught in equipment. Clean equipment after use to avoid the possibility of contaminating the next person who uses it. Always strictly follow the instructions. This microscope works by magnifying the sample on the slide using a series of lenses. Let's get started. Mouse over the different parts of the microscope to learn more about. View the magnified sample through the eyepiece. The lens magnifies the image 10 times. The arm supports the microscope when carried. The lenses are rotated on the nose piece to change magnification. These different lenses are referred to as the objectives. For example, the 40 times objective. The slide is placed on the stage for viewing. Stage clips hold the slide in place. The coarse focus adjustment knob moves the stage up and down for focusing. The fine focus adjustment knob moves the stage slightly to sharpen the focus. The diaphragm adjusts the amount of light on the slide. The light source projects up through the slide to illuminate the sample. The slide is placed on the stage. Start by making sure the microscope is plugged in. Take a closer look at the nose piece. The number on the side of the objective lens indicates how many times larger it will make the image. Rotate the nose piece to the lowest magnification, the 10 times objective. Keep rotating the nose piece until you hear a click. This means the lens is at the right position for use. Multiply the number on the objective lens by 10, the magnification of the eyepiece lens, to find the total magnification. For example, the 10 times objective would give you 10 times 10, or 100 times magnification. Now turn the light on. This brightens the image you see through the eyepiece. Let's look at the slide. It contains the sample of cultured yogurt from the dairy plant. The sample has been gram-stained to differentiate gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Using the clips on the stage of the microscope, Secure the slide to the microscope. Use the diaphragm to adjust the amount of light that goes through the slide. You can start with a low amount of light and adjust to a higher level if the sample is too opaque. This takes practice. Adjust the diaphragm so more light comes through. It's time to focus the image. There are two knobs on a microscope used to focus the image. One is the coarse adjustment. The other is the fine adjustment. When focusing, always start with the coarse adjustment. This lets you focus the object relatively quickly. When viewing a sample, start with the 10 times objective and place the stage as close to the objective as possible. While looking through the eyepiece, Slowly turn the course adjustment knob to lower the stage and bring the sample into focus. Focusing with different microscopes. On some microscopes, the nose piece or objective moves when using the coarse and fine adjustment. Turn the knob now and bring the image into focus. Once you see a vague image, very carefully use the fine adjustment knob to make the image as sharp as possible. Make sure you only use the fine focus at this point. If you use the coarse adjustment knob now, you can break your slide, the specimen, and even the lens. Use the fine focus knob until the slide is in focus. When you switch to higher magnification, make sure the area you want to magnify is centered. Centering the slide. Some microscopes have knobs that allow you to move the slide into the preferred location. Move the slide so the highlighted area is centered. 
We have the bacteria in focus on the low power objective, but the bacteria are too small for us to clearly see their shape, color, and other characteristics. Switch to the 40 times objective. Multiply the 40 times of the objective by the 10 times of the eyepiece to get the total magnification of 400 times. Rotate the nose piece to the 40 times objective. Now focus the image. Since we adjusted the coarse focus first, you will only need to use the fine adjustment. Use the fine focus adjustment knob to bring the image into focus. Slightly adjust the slide on the stage for the best possible view of the bacteria through the eyepiece. Move the slide into position. Although 400 times is a strong magnification, we can get an even better image of the bacteria. We are now going to use the third and most powerful objective in the microscope. This objective has 100 times magnification, which will give us a total of 1,000 times magnification. Notice the word oil on the side of the lens. This objective is an oil immersion lens and is to be used with a small amount of immersion oil on the slide. The oil prevents light distortion and makes the image clearer. Before you use the oil lens, you will want to get the focus as sharp as possible on the 40 times objective. How does the oil make the view of the bacteria clearer? The oil is denser than air, and it helps to focus light rays in the objective lens. When air is used as the refractive medium between the lens and the sample, light rays scatter and are lost. The oil improves the resolution of the image. Before you use the oil lens, you will want to get the rotate the nose piece halfway between the 40 times and 100 times objectives. Using the applicator from the bottle of lens oil, add a single drop to the center of the lens. Make sure that you don't get the lens oil on anything else. Using the applicator from the bottle What is lens oil? Lens oil, or immersion oil, is thick, with a specific refractive index and viscosity. It is usually pine oil. Using the applicator from the bottle of lens Add the oil to the lens. Now, finish rotating the 100 times objective lens into place. It should just touch the drop of oil. Once you're using the 100 times lens, it's important that you not switch to the 40 times objective, as you could get oil on the lens and ruin it. The 100 times objective is the only lens made to be used with lens oil. Use only the fine focus adjustment knob with the oil immersion lens. Since the 100 times objective is so long and sits near to the slide, Using the coarse adjustment knob could push this lens through the slide and damage the slide or even the lens. Very carefully, use the fine focus adjustment knob to bring the image into focus. Yogurt is made using bacteria. These bacteria are usually gram positive, which means the gram staining process dyes them purple. Gram negative bacteria show up pink after gram staining. If there are any gram-negative bacteria in the sample, it means this yogurt is contaminated. Gram-negative bacteria are often associated with pathogens such as E. coli or salmonella. We'll need to do further tests to identify the contaminating bacteria in the yogurt. These bacteria are usually killed during pasteurization of the milk before it's made into yogurt. Why were they present in this case? The pasteurization equipment may not be working properly, or the yogurt or milk may have been contaminated after pasteurization, for example, by storage in an improperly cleaned and sanitized tank. Now that we're done with our microscope, we need to clean it up. The slide will be reused, so it needs to be cleaned too. Using a piece of lens paper, wipe the excess oil from the microscope lens. Turn off the light source on the microscope. Unplug the microscope. Cover the microscope and put it back on the shelf. Drag the slide under running water to wash it. The autoclave will sterilize the equipment with high-pressure steam. What is an autoclave? An autoclave is a pressurized vessel that uses steam and extremely high temperatures to sterilize objects. To sterilize objects in a microbiology lab, an autoclave is commonly set to maintain a temperature of 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Drag the slide into the autoclave. Thanks to your hard work, we've determined that the yogurt samples are contaminated. 
will perform more tests to identify the contaminating bacteria. Meanwhile, the plant operator will hold the yogurt at the plant. They may have to recall any yogurt that was distributed or sold. Again, to learn more about the purpose and techniques of gram staining, please take a look at the gram staining virtual lab.